Hello, beautiful friends. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Father God, Mother God, universe. Thank you for giving us this beautiful wisdom that we have received and will be uh, putting out as an awareness to the collective and anybody that is resonating or needs to hear this. Now, and as I was doing this, it is 11 11. So always make sure to have gratitude for your spirit guides, for this beautiful wisdom that you guys receive. Um, I know that when uh, messages aren't received or divine light that is not received, it, it feels very different, right? Um, and once you open yourself up to, and uh, definitely give that a gratitude of being able to help uh, with the collective or help um, those around you, it, it does wonders, right? So with that being said, thank you, namaste. Um, but also this video is for people that have gone to the next stepping stone. Now, one of the mistakes that I would make every time that I would have a death and rebirth, I would try to forget about everything that <laughs> happened in the past, right? And even though that's great and dandy, uh, you seem to get um, stuck, <clears throat> seem to get stuck on a obstacle, right? And that's kind of confirmation um, so what I want you guys to remember is that we have gone through lessons that help these type of circumstances, right? We have learned from them and things that we have learned are very beneficial, okay, at this moment or whenever you are having circumstances arise, right? So always remember that you can use it for good use, okay? Um, for example, um, I'm in my new home, but of course this is a home that is a little bit older, but nonetheless, there's projects that I want to do for the house. Now, in the material world, of course, what always seems to tie us up is money, right? And circumstances will come up and, you know, you're not able to start that project. But then you get stuck in your head that you're like, I want that project and I want it. But see it as, uh, perceive it as... The perception, change it, okay? Now, what can you do? And that's confirmation. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, so one of the things that while well, you're moving forward, because you're focused on moving forward because you made it a focus and you have healed from something that something humongous okay um is now dissolved but with this you know there comes obstacles that are still telling you hey you still want it still want it there's going to be an obstacle and you're pushing through you're saying yes uh, you are breaking you are tearing down you are burning that wall okay um so Always remember to be centered and know that you got this, okay? I am the soul that has this, right? That will contain you on this journey, on this spiritual path, right? To oneness, right? Coming back to the one. Um, so with that example that I wanted to give you guys is, right, that I was wanting to do a huge project in my house and due to circumstances things that came up um i was not able to and 
you know, the ego just, you know, wants, wants this and this particular thing, right? And it will keep me stuck. It will keep me right there. And then I would be so upset. I would be so unsatisfied. And giving, I mean, in a different um, sense with this house, this relationship that I was building, it was not working out. And I was feeling a little bit drained because of that. Uh, but with changing my precision, right, changing, how about if I do low budget projects? What do I have here in my home that I can do with very minimum or what I can do with things that I already have here at the house? And I came up with a list and, you know, that because usually when you stop and you decide that you just want this and that's it, um, you built a lot of barriers, right? A lot of walls. And your creativity stops, right? But with you changing your position, right? And saying, you know what? I'm going to do these low budget projects, <clears throat> the creativity is continuing uh, to evolve and grow and the ambition is starting uh, to grow as well. So just keep moving forward. You're doing an awesome job. Just also remember, remember that the lessons that you have done or the, what you had experienced in the past, you have learned from them, right? And... Um, you are able to use those experiences and use them in the time that you have circumstances that are in a different um, side of the polarity, right? Right? So that is something that I wanted to give to you guys. Much love, much love, and much blessings. And until next time, namaste. Thank you. I'm gonna go